So if you're already at a million in sales, right? Had a client of mine come to me, already doing 84,000 a month in sales, wants to do, you know, wants to grow, right? And it's a totally different mentality that gets you from zero to 84,000 a month in sales that needs to get you from 84,000 to, to 300,000 a month. That's about three, four million in sales. And, you know, it's funny, a lot of people think to do a million in sales, you need to, oh, I need to have the best systems, I need to have the best staff, I need to have the best team members, the best employees, I have to have all my systems and processes figured out to get there. It's kind of funny because you really don't. I asked him yesterday, or the other day when I was speaking with him, I said, so do you know how many leads you're getting every month? Do you know how many people got on the phone with your team? Do you know how many uh, people have been actually pitched and given a price? And he didn't know any of those things. But he, but he went from zero. In fact, this guy, um, he previously quit his job and could not get it off the ground. 20, couldn't break 25,000 a year in sales, had four or five kids, had to go back and take a job, got fired from that job, started up with us. Now he's doing 84,000 a month doing tax planning. And that's the key is that to do your first million in sales, you as the entrepreneur or business owner, you know, tax and accounting firm owner, you need to do almost all of the sales yourself. Now he just hired a salesperson. But to get that first million in sales, it's not so much about system systems. It's more about packaging, pricing, and just sheer muscle. He said one of the biggest complaints on his team has been that, you know, people are like, oh, you just do stuff. You don't even think about it. All you do is you just go out and you just do stuff. You don't, and I told him, I said, they're kind of right, you know, and when you get to your first million in sales, you just kind of muscle it through yourself. You get better packaging, better pricing. I mean, think about it. If your price is $5,000 a tax plan to do 84,000 a month, you really need 17 sales. But that's assuming you don't get any tax preparation, assuming you don't get any upsells. So you really need like 12 sales a month. In fact, he had 10 sales last month and he does 84,000 in cash sales plus another 29,000 in accounts receivable created. So you only need about 10 good sales a month on a good service. You could do that yourself. And so, you know, I, he asked me, he's like, well, what do I need to do to get to another level? So we mapped it out, 84,000 a month in sales, 300,000 a month in sales. And when you think about that, it's a lot, that's when we're starting to talk about people and systems. If, if a lot of people think, oh, I need people and systems to do a million a year in sales. It's probably because you have the wrong set of services. You, you know, you're probably doing, like if you're doing $300 a month bookkeeping, right? I mean, oh my gosh, the number of clients that you need to get there, right? Let's think about it. 300 bucks a month times 10, that's 30, uh, 300 bucks a month times 10, that's only 3,000 a month, right? <laughs> I mean, then that's crazy, right? So it just makes no sense. I mean, you need so many clients. Like, you have to get the prices up. You have to get the packaging in a way where you get the prices up, but you don't have like a commensurate increase in the scope. And that's where we work on higher value services. And so that's the first thing. But once you're at that million to get to, or to, get to three or four or five, you have to know your numbers and you have to start to put in place like, okay, exactly how many leads have I gotten? Okay, how many leads? And how many of those leads are qualified? Like how many of those are actually business owners in the niche versus just, oh, this is a marketer or this is another accountant that signed up for my stuff. How many of those are qualified leads? And then you have to get on the phone with them and you have to actually have to ask them like, okay, great, you're like a qualified lead, but is now a good time? Like, do they have the funds? Is their business big enough? And so are they actually a, a qualified lead once you've spoken to them? And then you actually have to pitch them. You know, we do deck pitches now where we help tax and accounting for owners create 160 slide presentations they go through with the uh, business owner on Zoom. Makes a giant difference, shows all the value of everything that they're gonna get, which makes it way easier to pay a higher price. And so we go through and we do that, and then we sign them up. So he doesn't know all those numbers because he just muscled it up there himself. And so if you wanna go from a million to three or four million, you have to start to have a system in place and you almost have to think about your business like an organism. So it's, it's like an organism and it's got all these inputs, right? It's got all these different inputs and then it's got all these different outputs and you're tweaking the system. So you've got inputs, you've got outputs and then you're looking at the system and you're taking a step back and you're like, ooh, those metrics there don't look good. Those metrics there don't look good. And you have reliability over those metrics. And then the other big piece is staffing. You know, he did an amazing job hiring a salesperson. I told him hire another one right now. Cause he asked me, he's like, how do I know when to double my advertising spend? He's spending $180 a, a day right now. And I said, well, take $180 a day times 30 days. That's about 6,000 a month. I said, if you spent another 6,000 last month, would you have lost money? And the answer was of course, no, he's doing 84,000 a month in sales. So I said, great, you should double that spend. Assuming you have the, the salespeople there every month until 
you know, it stops ROIing until you stop making more on it than what you're spending by a factor of three to four, three to seven, really, depending on the company. And so take a step back, look at your numbers. And he said, but Andrew, I've always just had this mentality of like, do it now, do it now. And, and I said, dude, that's helped you up until this point. But now you're at the point where like, it's more about taking a step back, having a measured response, looking at the data and the information and making the right decision rather than just taking massive action. And so, look, I mean, if you're at 10, 15,000 in sales, I'm not gonna tell you that. I mean, you just need to get shit done. I mean, you know, you need to stop. Oh, I gotta have all my systems, right? You probably just need to change your pricing, your packaging, you need to go crazy and you need to take control of this business yourself and sell like you've never sold before. If you're somebody that's already at a million, yeah, you kind of have a little bit of a business. And if you want to do three or four, you can go there fast. Six months, 12 months, 18 months, depending on you know uh, how well you do. But you're going to need to think about it in a different way. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys see below, we have an application to fill out, basically work with us. If you want to go through this, get your first million in sales or go from one to five. Um, you know, We've done it. We did 12 million in sales last year. We built all the systems for client acquisition, conversion, getting them to pay high prices in the right package, retention, getting them to actually stay and keep paying more in the second, third year, expanding their account, and then also going through firm systems. So if you've been looking for somebody to work with and you want to see how we do it, if you sign up below, there'll be a link to apply. And then if you go through, we'll actually walk through about 300 slides of what it's like to work with us and show you how it works. So I'll see you on the other side.